with this camera, I love it. Right, so guys, um, obviously welcome to the Alakazam Live. Just a quick um, clarification. Um, if you guys can let me know if you can hear me in the comments, that'd be amazing, I'm sure you can, because uh, I don't mess about like that. Um, but yeah, let me know anyway. And also, um, I don't think we are live on YouTube. Um, the live keeps cutting out for some reason on YouTube, so I don't think we're going to be live on there. But that's no worries, all right? We're live on here anyway. Um, so we are live on Facebook. Obviously, get your comments in, guys. Let us know where you're watching from, if you've joined us before. Uh, we've got a couple of special things happening um, on this live. So, uh, obviously, we've got special guests who are introduced in a momento. Um, but, guys, uh, get your comments in, of course, if you want us to gloss over anything or talk about anything. <clears throat> Let us know in the comment section. And of course, that right there, no messing quiz, right? We're not messing about today, yeah? It's England v Germany, everything. Nothing in life is a game, all right? So this is serious. The winner takes home a quiz winner's mug. You can't even buy that, all right? So all you've got to do is head over to crowd.live. You can see it right down there, crowd.live. It'll come up with a screen. Just type in the whether it asks for your name or the code, whatever. If it asks for your name, obviously type your name in or your quiz name, whatever. Um, and then type in the code, which is there, F-E-S-B-H. Make sure it's all capital letters. Um, and then, yeah, later on, we'll do the quiz and boom, bada, bing. Lovely. Um, let me just give a few shout outs. Alexander Ross, hello. Um, Darren Bain watching from a great and dreary North Somerset. Yeah, it's um, it was chucking it down loads here uh, in Kent. That's where we're based, but it's not too shabby at the minute actually. So it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> hello Lucy, thank you Kevin for letting me know. Graham, hello. Uh, Ian, holler from a very hot Octomokti. I've learned it, mate. Uh, thank goodness there is nothing on TV tonight, so I can spend time outside. <laughs> Honestly, he's not a football fan, I take it. Um, but <clears throat> before we introduce the guests and obviously get on with today's stuff, just to give a shout out to obviously mum and dad. Uh, it's their 25th wedding anniversary today and obviously I'm only 21, so that's crazy. More than I've even been alive for. That's mad. But yeah, um, so happy anniversary, guys. Maybe we can get some of that in a chat, you know. I'm sure dad's probably watching somewhere. If he's not, then... Oh well, you can watch it back on replay. But guys, get some get some hearts in the chat, obviously, for mum and dad with their 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, they've gone out for a few days just to have a little break. Um, and I'm very jealous because they're going to an Italian restaurant, which I bloody love, and I'm not happy about it. Um, so, right, without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mr. Magoo. Rhymed. Here we go. There we are. Hello. How are you? This is Wayne Goodman, of course, guys. He's on the lives now. All right. Can I can I just pull up a little thing about uh, what Ian Raymond Walker put about a very sad book? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear. I was like, what's that? What's that? I I tell you what, so for anyone who doesn't know, right, Wayne put up a selection of joke books on the site. Now, you guys are going to be thinking, what? Really? After the jokes he's been saying in their lives? Yes. But they're bloody good <laughs> ones in there, all right? So, no, honestly, they are. They're, they're, the ones I don't, they're the ones I don't do on the lives. Yeah, no, they are, they are really good, actually. And I remember, um, because they, when did you start writing them? Because I always remember the Apple one when I was younger. That's like, the, to be honest with you, I actually remembered you more for the Apple joke book then for Look Sharp, I must say. Oh, really? Yeah, because well, the I Apple just grew up with it. The first, the first joke book, because they had that Apple, I haven't got one here actually, I don't think, but you had that Apple on the front with the fake eyes and stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, I wanted something a bit, I wanted something that was going to grab people. So I, it is quite visually appealing, whereas yeah. Look Sharp was a pen with a cap on it. And <laughs> you know, not, so when you're, when you're younger, you're going to be drawn towards that. Exactly. Oh, what's this crazy I loved thing it. I loved it. Um, so uh, Jeff is here. Greetings from Branford, Connecticut. Uh, oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, it's wicked. Roger, greetings from Austria. Um, Austria played very well against Italy. So you should be proud <laughs> of the boys. Um, and yeah, as well. Yeah, we just get some hearts in a chat for mum and dad. Obviously, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, congratulations to your mum and dad. That's a great. It's silver, isn't it? Silver wedding anniversary. I haven't got a clue. I've not got. A clue, yeah, it's silver. <laughs> <laughs> it's something like that. Yeah, anyway, it's... I just know it's twenty-five years. Um, but what I'm going to do is quickly before we get further into it. Obviously, we knew that. Um, hey, there you go. Uh, we knew that dad and mum were going to be away for this live. 
So we went through the cupboards and we are going to say it early just so you guys get it down. All right. Peter and Jeanette. <laughs> Hopefully it's not Jeanette. All right. But Alexander is Jenny. But I'll take that one down just in case. All right. <laughs> in case is, there something, is there something we don't know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 25 years. Oof. That's um, even worse. That's even worse than when you put up. Of course I didn't buy. <laughs> he's nasty, isn't he? Um, so yeah, uh, he's gonna... yeah, go on. No, no, go on, you go on. I was going to say something, but no, you, you, you carry on. I was going to say, to celebrate the 25 years, um, we have been through the shop and we picked out, because basically, right, let me tell you. So 25 years, mum and dad have been married, right? And we thought, what can we do with 25? 25 money, 25% off. Right, so we have now Ooh. got a selection of products from Dad, obviously because it's related to Dad, 25% uh, off. So all you have to do is go over to the site. If you want anything, you add it to your basket and you just use this code, HAPPY25. It's active for 24 hours. And involved in that discount are things like Common Sense, Unexpected, STC. Um, you've got Runaway Joker. You've got... Um, I can't remember what else. You've got a few other bits and bobs in there. Anything basically related to Dad. Um, unfortunately, uh, the Assassin and E2 isn't in there because we're out of stock of them. So it's pointless putting them in there. Um, but yeah, so 25% off at checkout. Just add what you want. If you do want anything, we've been a little bit cheeky and we've done 25% off of that. All right. So uh, let me just clarify what it was. So it is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It was... If I can find it... I don't know. I don't know if I can find it. What is it? Are you looking for the code? No, the... Um... Oh, here we go. So, it's Runaway Joker, I Change. That's the other one. Runaway Joker, I Change, Common Sense, STC, and Unexpected. So, all of them are 25% off. Just head over to... If you do want anything, like I said, um, head over, add it to your basket, and just type in HAPPY25, all capital letters, and it'll give you 25% off for 24 hours only. All right? Just as a little cheeky, little cheeky one. Um... Now, Wayne, right, I'll, I can get rid of that and I'll just quickly mention about the quiz again just so people start logging on and then we'll get into a live launch that happened because it was very exciting. Um, so, guys, this is the no messing quiz. Like I said, nothing in life is a game, all right? So take it seriously, all right? It's a chance to win a quiz mug. Um, so all you have to do is go to crowd.live, go on right at the top, crowd.live, and type in um, <clears throat> that code there, F-E-S-B-H. If you type that in, it'll bring you up. So let me see if anyone's joined in so far. Um, to be honest with you, I can't see, but... It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I can see a few people joining, so that's fine. Um, so, yeah, go over to crowd.live, F-E-S-B-H, um, and then it'll bring you to the quiz. Uh, I can see a few more of you joining now. And it doesn't look like loads of you are here because I, I assume England's playing. A lot of you have got work off probably at the pub already. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, so the more chance of winning. So make sure you get over there, guys. It's, a, it's an easy quiz, and it's all based around dad. So you, you guys will probably be interested in it. You know what I mean? Some crazy stuff there. Um, so Wayne, obviously yes, last week we had a live launch on a brand new effect and it, it went very, very well. Um, the feedback was fantastic and the feedback was even good on a certain green forum, which is like never heard of before. So that's when you know it's <laughs> done all right. Don't you think? Lots of people talking about it on the discord as well and lots of yeah. good comments and yeah, yeah. Well, it's a great, it's a great it's trick. A fantastic it's fantastic effect. Yeah, it's so good. So, guys, for those of you who don't know, it's an effect called Sudoku uh, by Miles Thornton, and it is, yeah, there it is. It's phenomenal, and the packaging is so funky. And I feel like when you perform it, it gives off that vibe as well. You know what I mean? It's just cool. It's chill. It's part of the Wallet series, which is basically a series of effects that are self-contained that can fit in your wallet. So you don't need to add anything else. Honestly, the amount of phone calls we get. Oh, guys, I just want something I can bring down the pub. You know, a bit chill, easy to do, this, that, this, that, this is it. You don't, absolutely no memory work. You haven't got to, like, secretly look at anything or peek anything like that. It's just, honestly, it's phenomenal. Once you watch the video, you won't have to watch it again. You'll know exactly what to do forever, basically. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it's just, it is just mental. And when, what I love about it is it's different to other, I'm going to say it's a magic square because it is, obviously, right? But it's different to a magic square. It doesn't give off the vibe where, oh, this is me, I'm so clever, blah, blah, blah. There's so many bonus routines and presentation 
twists in there that make it magical or um, more mentalism based or a skill based thing if that's the route you want to go down. But it wasn't until actually filming it in the studio and Miles come down that we saw probably the best handling of a magic swear I think I've ever seen. Close up, hands down. But I would say probably the best handling of a magic swear I've ever seen, to be honest. It's It's got, I mean, it's got everything, hasn't it? It's got mm. no memory work. It's, uh, you can have it as a magical thing or as a mentalism yeah. thing. You can have it. You, you don't need to, like I said on the, on the night, um, I used to have my magic square that I used to do. It had an extra prop with it so that you, we'd have the, the secret so I wouldn't have to remember anything. You lose that and you, you know, or you don't yeah. remember it after a couple of weeks. This, I could leave that in my case for 10 years, open it up and still be able to work it straight away without watching the DVD because I know it now. Yeah. You know, everything, everything is there for it. It, honestly, I cannot explain how good it was, or is, should I say. And there's just... So, basically, that we went through so many... We had this... Um, we probably had this for over a year now, working on it. And you won't believe how many different stocks we went through of card to get to where we are now. Because, like Ian said there, Sudoku is brilliant, uh, the best crib ever, right? You are literally staring at the crib. No one will know unless they... No one knows unless they know, basically. So you, yeah. it will stand out like a sore thumb to you, but to them, they will not have a clue whatsoever. I would be comf comfortable giving it to them for the rest of their life and they're never going to see it. It's, 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 a, it's a perfect fantastic. camouflage. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect camouflage. Yeah, even, if they, even if they look at it, even if they see it, they're not going to know what they're looking at and mm -hmm. they're not going to know what it means. And yeah, it's brilliant. Exactly. I love it. I, it's, it's, I've, got, I've got a load in my wallet. I've got a load in my case. I've got a load in my bag that I take out, my man bag. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's everywhere I need. So whenever I go out now, I've got one on me. Exactly. So, yeah, this is a... So I will just say, in the box, you get 80 of these cards. Um, so, yeah, we went through loads and loads of different stocks um, to make sure that you could see it in different lighting because, obviously, we didn't want it to be reflective so we couldn't get a glossy one. We didn't want it to be, it to be difficult to tear because some of the routines you involves tearing them. But, basically, you get around 80 of the cards in there. Um, so you get around 80 of these, which are... Uh, the well, they're not the gimmicks, but they're obviously the cards you use. There's a nice big space on the back if you want to do a peek of anything, um, and it's made out to look like a Sudoku puzzle card that you'll find in a book or anything like that. But there's so many different um, routines and presentational ideas that Miles has that it really can be a different effect every time you perform it. It really does come across. So uh, one of the routines involves um, this, which is fantastic. So you get. Uh, Everything you need to perform one of those, if you guys know what that is. I'll put the trailer on in a second, and he does perform uh, this routine. Um, but also, a bigger one that uses a book, so you can get someone to think of a number, and then you go from there. It's, honestly, you just, it really builds, and for a magic square, to do it close up, I don't think you're going to get better than this at all. I, I can't see where you would improve. It's, it's phenomenal. So, I think what I'll do is, I'll drop the trailer quickly for guys that haven't seen it. Um, and... Yeah, we can go from there. Craig's just joined us as well. He says, hey, Harry, hey, Wayne. Hello, Craig. Hi, Craig. Legend. We was, um, I was speaking Legend. to Dad, actually, about a couple of your bits and bobs that are going to be coming out in the future. I'm very excited. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the trailer to Sudoku and, yeah, come back to you guys after. Hello, I'm Miles Horden and this is Sudoku 2.0. It's a magic square routine disguised as a puzzle card that you'd find in a magazine, uh, newspaper or puzzle book. It's got a built-in crib so there's no memory work needed and it's perfectly designed to fit in your wallet ready to go for those casual performances. So this is a, st a Sudoku puzzle book. And I'm just going to ask you just to say stop while I riffle through the pages. Stop. There, would you take a look at your number? Yeah. And just remember that for me? Yeah. And keep that in your head. And now these are Sudoku 2.0 cards. Right. So there are four people who find Sudoku is pretty easy. And these are a bit more challenging. So what you have to do, you have to make the horizontal and the vertical add up to the same number. Right. So it's pretty challenging, but I'm going to ask you to do this. If I draw a circle here, 
Would you write your number in the circle for me and then sign across here while I turn away and then turn it all face down for me? So that way nobody sees your number. Good, and then turn them all face down. Good, perfect. I'm gonna take this here. Would you hold your hand up for me? I'm gonna take your card and I'm gonna place it on your hand. Would you put your other hand on top? And just think of your number for me. Yeah. Now this is gonna look pretty strange, but have you seen A Beautiful Mind? Uh, a bit of it, He yeah. kind of does calculations in his head and you can see them in front of him. So we're gonna try this. Okay. Yeah. okay, I think I'm done. Oh. If I take these and just sprinkle them into your hand. You lift your hand up and turn the card over and have a look. Oh. This is the greatest for itself out. Yeah. Now not only have the calculations appeared, would you, what was your number? Uh, 65. 65. If we go across the top here, 11 plus 8 plus 44 plus 2, that's 65. 5 plus 10 plus 3 plus 47, that's 65. 4 plus 46 plus 6 plus 9, that's 65. And if you go down the vertical as well, 45 plus 11 plus 5 plus 4, that's 65. This is 65, this is 65, this is 65. The four corners here add up to 65, the four corners here add up to 65, the four corners here add up to 65, the four corners here add up to 65. Wow. Across the diagonals are 65. <laughs> and even the four corners here add up to 65. Oh, that is amazing. That is really good. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we specially designed the card so it has space on the back for you to write your website or perform a centre tech. And on the front there's a built-in crib, so there's absolutely no memory work needed and no complicated maths procedures. It's built in ready to go sit in your wallet for those casual performances. And not only that, there's a built-in out to lunch principle included in the box. So if you're working at a gig, you go straight into it. That's a Duco 2.0. Lovely. It's honestly, guys, it's absolutely fantastic. And I will just, so just to go over a few points, all right, it's absolutely no memory work whatsoever, okay? Um, you don't have to have amazing eyesight. The crib, you're looking at it, you've got absolutely no magician's guilt because you're getting the information where you should be looking. Do you know what I mean? It's, you haven't got to look elsewhere. And you don't have to be good at maps. The good thing, obviously, with this is you can be 100% sure that, it's going to work so you don't have to worry about oh god what if they do add that up if they do add it up it works every time it goes without saying but you can if, if you're not very good at maths and i know the maths on here isn't big anyway you don't have to be because even if you don't if you, if you can't add up like this 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 you don't have to worry about that just say so we've got four ten this this uh is and then the given number you know you haven't got to worry about adding them up and doing stuff like that it's honestly it's fantastic it makes you look like a genius for absolutely no work whatsoever like I said last week, it's almost like you're cheating. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's 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 all done for you. Mars Mars has obviously spent a lot of time working on the design and, and with you guys as well. And you know, it, it's it's a it, I think it's the best the best uh, magic square easily. Yeah. I think so. The fact it's got no I remember um I can't remember who it was, but they said um I've always wanted to do a magic square close up, but I've never found one until now. And like that's just you can't hear anything better than that. Do you know what I mean? Because I've always wanted to do a magic square, but so many times, like in a stage show, I just don't do it for a couple of days. I completely forget the formula. Whereas here, you will, yeah. it's impossible to forget the formula with this. You can't forget it because it tells you what to do when you're looking at it. So it's like, it's, it is just everything. <laughs> Look, Miles, he almost failed maths at school. Miles is here, the creator. So <laughs> he's even here. Um, Jeff, uh, we have ordered cards for refill cards. Um, it'll be exactly the same quality stock, everything like that. Um, just obviously at a slightly cheaper price per card for you guys. Uh, when they're in, I'm not too sure yet. We have ordered them, but whether they'll be in like packs of 80 or 100, again, not too sure. But keep an eye out on the site because, uh, yeah, they'll be going up soon. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, Ian, finally, you destroy the evidence before you hand it out. And it's true. Yeah. You destroy it just by filling out the card. It's honestly, it's absolutely wicked. So I'd highly, highly recommend it. And someone worked it out. It's like 30p a performance, the amount of cards you get in there. So do you know what I mean? That's, it's a bloody bargain. Right. It's so, a bargain. Um, Wayne, I reckon we should start. I'll put the quiz up one more time just for anyone that wants to quickly join. 
Um, so guys, head over to crowd.live and type in that code, F-E-S-B-H. And remember, uh, this is a quiz on dad because it's mum and dad's 25th wedding anniversary. I can see there's 10 of you that are going to play. So that is wicked. One of you is obviously going to win a mug. And if it's a joint, if it's a joint winner, I'm just going to go with whoever's at number one. Even if it's joint, they're there. Whoever's the top, you win. All right? <laughs> I'm going to pick you. Um, so without further ado, I reckon I'm going to do the first three questions of the quiz. What do you reckon? Go for it. Yep. So, guys, who, wrote, who wrote the quiz, Harry? Who wrote the quiz? Mum wrote the quiz. I was going to say, your mum, mum did it. So, so it's for, from, straight from the first, first point yeah. of contact. Yeah, so mum wrote the quiz about dad and they're all questions that you may or may not know about dad. Some quite quirky ones and some ones that might be a guess, but they're interesting facts to know for future. All right, so um, I'm going to whack this over there. Um, you guys should still be able to hear me. And <clears throat> I am going to... Go for it. Let me... Oh, what? Let me... Hang on a second. Got it. Accept. Um, how peculiar. Let me go there. Control center. Boom. There you go. So, count it down. Six, five. Oh, as well. Oh, I can't say it now. Speed counts, guys. The faster you answer, the more points you get. Go. What is Peter Nardi's signature dinner recipe? Is it chili con carne, carbonara, spaghetti bolognese, or a pot noodle? What do you reckon? And I will just say, in the Nardi household, our pot noodle are the Bombay bad boys with extra sriracha sauce for a bit of extra spice. Uh, let us know what yours are. I never... I don't like chicken and mushroom. All right, I'm just going to say that now. Do not like that. So, that was question one. All right. Get your answers in. Question two. Which cereal brand did Peter Nardi design giveaway tricks for? Oh, Frosties, Wheatos, Rice Krispies, or Honey Nut Loops? Is that like a knockoff one there, Honey Nut Loops? Or is that legit? Oh, is it? So, guys, uh, this is really cool, actually. Yeah, so Dad actually designed tricks as giveaways for a cereal company on their boxes. Which one was it? Lovely. Right, question number three, the last question for now. Uh, Peter Nardi worked on a TV show called Impossible. Who was the host? Philip Scoffey, Mark Spellman, Russ Stevens, John Archer. Guys, I know you probably have known this question before, but we had to put in a little bit of filler, right? <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's just, a cool, it's just a cool one. So who is it? Great show, that. And actually, we went back through uh, the spare room earlier on, or not earlier on, the other day, and there were so many props that wasn't used for it. There's so many routines. One of them was actually going to use on BGT, but we never got around to doing it. So, right, there are the three questions. So I'm going to come back to us. So, guys, remember, speed is key, all right? The faster you answer, <clears throat> the more points you get. So I'm going to have a look on here. Um... Oh, here we go. It's come on here. Lovely. Look. So, uh, number one is Shiv. Lovely Shiv. 220 points. Uh, number two is Goo. Kevin is third. Andy C, 13. Ian Raymond Walker. Jeff. Darren Bain. Roy. Sean. Roger. Alexander Graham. Oh. So, is there only one person that's answered three out of three correct? Interesting. Interesting. Mm. So, guys, remember the winner of that gets a quiz mug. Um, you can't buy them, so they're very valuable. You probably sell them on eBay for like, what are you looking, a couple grand maybe? Um, so, guys, yeah, that are the first three questions done and dusted. So, keep an eye out, uh, keep your ears peeled because later on we will go obviously into more. It's a 10 question quiz, um, so we'll probably have three more rounds uh, and then we'll obviously end with an extra fourth question. Uh, so, Wayne. Hello. Have you got something to show us? I have, I have. Uh, I've actually got a couple of things. I'm actually going to do... Uh, well, before I start, can I just tell you about what I found earlier on? Oh, my God, yeah. This is mental. This is absolutely mental. So, um, we've got a new supermarket opened up in town, and I always forget that you need a pound coin for the um, the trolleys. Yeah. Uh, so, I was sorting through my, my coins earlier on, 
and I picked up a two pound coin. And as I picked it up, I felt that the middle bit was quite loose. And I started playing with it and realizing it wasn't loose. And so I got a magnet out and it's actually a two pound 50p coin unique. Can you imagine? My change. Can you imagine getting handed a coin unique? Guys, let us know, right? I know for a fact you guys have done this. Let us know if you've ever spent a coin unique. I have. I spent a pound one. That, that was the only one I ever had was a pound one. Um, in a, I realised as soon as I'd done it, it was in a car park in the machine. Um, so I knew, I knew there was no way I was getting that coin back. You know, it was so gone. so annoying. That is so annoying. How mental is that, though? Imagine that, getting there handed a coin unique. What is that? Let me, hang on. Let me just have a look. Hang on one second. That is a £2.50p. Do you know what that is right there? Go on. That's forty nine ninety nine. You just got back for that. That's unbelievable. Although it's probably not the same. Well, it probably is now, because I'm one, actually, isn't it? It probably is. If the quality is good, yeah. then it is. The quality is amazing. Look who's here. Peter Pietro oh. Nardi. Oh, he oh said, I need spent I oh, okay. Mm. He'll try and tell me now that that's his one. He yeah. spent it. Yeah, he'll say, where did you go? Oh, I went there the other day. Yeah. Um, oh, but yeah, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a trick to show everybody. Oh, what's this? I spent many cigarettes three quarters back in the day. Yeah, day. I remember, I think I might have spent a, a cigarette three ten p uh, Look, there you go. Look, Craig. I lost mine a few months ago. Spent it. It was two pound fifty p. I believe you have my coin, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I say? I bet somebody says. Yeah, and you do not want to mess with Craig. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah, is he gonna, if, if I don't send it to him, yeah. is he going to do a rant about me? Do a Wayne Goodman rant. Yeah, that you Wayne Goodman. <laughs> um, Alexander Ross. Uh, I can imagine as he has spent a one pound coin unique, um, and he has a one. Two, one also. Half one also, maybe. I'm not Half sure. Um, yeah, honestly, guys, it's so easy to do. Especially, I'm not even lying, right? The coins we get are absolutely phenomenal. They're all made, obviously, from genuine coins. And you would, you couldn't tell the difference, could you? I don't no, think. no. So, okay. I, no. I don't think that's an Anakazam one, because I can guarantee, if I gave you a handful of change, I don't think you'd be able to work out what's the coin you need from us. Well, it's not rattling now. It... Well, if I did, yeah, I can feel a little tiny shake, so maybe not. But it looks, it looks perfect. I generally thought because of the little, the little, I could feel something moving. I generally thought the middle bit was loose, but it's not loose. It was right. uh, the other side of it. So I had to get, this is my um, little grater and um, I, that's magnetic. So I was able to, I was able to put it on there oh, and yeah. separate it. And that's when I was like, oh my goodness. And I came around and told you, and I was like, look what I've just found. I can't believe that. The chance of that, look, Craig Petty, ran incoming with an angry face. <laughs> it's going to get oh. burned on your case. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Having Craig rant about me is on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I actually done an interview with Craig. It was such good fun. It was really, really good. I've done an interview he has with him. Um, I, haven't got, I haven't got back to him. I've been quite rude. I do apologise, Craig. I want to get you back on the Discord as well, so we'll talk about that as well. Yeah, absolutely. I know. It's been, it's been busy, man. It's been busy. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll talk about some bits and bobs that are happening at HQ because it's been busy there, actually. We've got a big order coming the other day, so I'll tell you guys what's that. But, Wayne, what have you got to show us? A couple of bits and bobs, did you say? Also, Gunner. I have, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll do one while you're having... Oh, look at that. Is, that. is that the winner's mug? Oh, that's your mug. I've got I've got my giant dad mug that my daughter got me. Um, nice. So I'm going to do a card trick, and if anybody wants to join in with this, uh, they can do. Um, all you need is a pack of cards, and this is from Remote Control 2, I believe. So a couple of, uh, about two months ago, or a month ago, we put up two of my books as a download, uh, Remote Control 1 and Remote Control 2, and these are books that teach you tricks that you can do either with the uh, spectator telling you what to do all the way through, or completely hands off and them having doing it at home. So I'm going to do this one with you. If you want to join in, you need a deck of cards, uh, and I'm going to tilt my camera down. I'm going to make to here. the screen, but I'm still here and I've oh, got a deck of cards. And you can see my pajama trousers as well. <laughs> yeah, I got me. I don't have any boring grey ones. I, my, my my superhero ones are in the wash. But 
Um, what you need to do is you need to, first of all, take your deck of cards yeah. and go through them and take out two cards. And I want one of these to be the spectator's choice uh, and one of them to be your card. So you're going to need a spectator's card and your card. Uh, and I'll put them both face up so you can see them. And then you need to deal down uh, 30, car uh, 30 cards. So 5, 10, 15, 15. Perfect. And once you've got them, once you've got 30 cards, uh, put them in two equal piles of 15. Okay, smokes. Okay, yeah. so what we're going to do here is uh, I call this uh, card the bounty hunter. And so this jack of clubs is going to be my bounty hunting card. And this is going to be the spectator's choice who we are hunting. Now, uh, if you want to join me, this is very, very easy. Um, so we've got two piles over here, one pile of 15 cards and one pile of 15 cards. And what I'd like you to do, and what the spectators could do, or what you can do at home, is just cut off any number and place them to the side. Yeah. And then do that for your pile as well. Mm-hmm. And now I'd like you to take the, uh, the spectator's card, chosen card, turn it face down, and place it on either of these two piles. Okay? okay. So, Harry, just to make it fair, I know you're doing it as well, but for my piles here... This is pile one, this is pile two. Where do you want me to put this card? Pile one. Pile one. So it's the Queen of Hearts, my card. It's going on pile one, okay? Uh, and then take your card and place it on either of your two piles. So which pile would you like me to put it on here, Harry? Um, I'm going to go for pile two. Pile two, okay. Now, what you've got to do now is you've got to pick up your other pile yeah. that doesn't have your card on it and drop it on top of the spectator's chosen card. And then pick up the spectator's other pile and drop that on top of your card. Got it. And now pick up your pile and drop it on top of the other pile. Ta-da! Yep, done it. So, what we've got here now is we've got a pile of cards. Hidden in here somewhere is the spectator's card and also your face-up card. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You're going to take the cards and you get to deal them left and right, one card each. Just keep going backwards and forwards all the way through. And I just want you to know, all you've got to do is know where the face-up card lands. Yeah. Okay, happy. Now, as I can see, now this is going to be different for everybody watching. Some people are going to be the same as mine, some people the other pile. But as you can see, my, my face-up card is in this pile. So we're going to discard the other pile completely. Okay, okay. Gone. Now we're going to repeat that action. So we're going to keep going. That 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 uh, bounty hunter card, looking for the spectator's card. And all I'm looking to see is where that card ends face up. Happy. We're going to get rid of the other pile. We just want the pile with the face-up card. Mm -hmm. Now I think we've got two more deals. So deal them down. Yep. Get rid of the other pile. And this is the last time. So we're going to deal left, right, left, and right. And I'm going to get rid of the other pile. No so way. now I'm just left with my card and one other card. Now I had the Queen of Hearts. So if this has worked for you, when you flip that card over, your Bounty Hunter Boom. card should have found the other card. Just like that. Nice That's and sick. easy. It's all right, isn't it? It works every time. Work for you me. just need to have you just need to have 30 cards, two piles of 15 plus the, these two cards here. Nice. And as long as you put the loose pile on top of your card and your loose pile on top of their card and your pile goes on top, exactly as I did it on the video, um, then yes, you can do it. And if you check out Remote Control or Remote Control 2, they are still on offer. Um, you get two for the price of one on the website. So check those out. They're really, really good. And that's just one of the tricks that you can do from the book. Self-working, nice and easy. Works great on the camera. And um, I, I've had I've done that trick with thirty people on a Zoom call, nice. and they've all had their own deck of cards. And at the end, I've had many f bombs dropped and people screaming, and they love it because it happens in their hands. That's the thing, and that's the good thing about it, you know they can use it's completely hands off. Are all the effects on remote control hands off? Almost all of them. Some of them require some of them require them to tell you what to do, and then there's some like I did uh, the other week where I had the. Uh, the picture cards where it's set up on my camera 
but they they make the moves at, at home oh, while yeah, I'm yeah, taking yeah. cards away. So they're all either interactive. Yeah, they're telling me. 100% what to do, yeah. or they're doing it 100% themselves. That's like the whole premise yeah. of the three It's wicked, honestly. Yeah, effects like that are so good to have, especially when you can do them over Zoom. You know, all you need, like you said, for that one is 32 cards. That's it. You yeah. know, so yep. um, yeah, I mean, the amount of dodgy decks you get when um, when you go to people's houses, I'm sure they've got 32 cards in them. Jason quickly well, says, uh, When's your wedding book coming out? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's soggy that is um the wedding book have i got a copy here i've got a copy in another room um it will be out for february it will be out for blackpool next year so i just literally yesterday had the um the last edit i've got one more small edit to do on it and when one through check through but as it stands the book is finished the editing stage takes a little while but yeah once once this last edit goes through and i get the next copy of the book that will be the final copy and yeah there will be 50 available only 50 in the world ever made available to buy in hardback and then there will be loads in paperback in, in the normal software but yeah i'm very excited about that that is exciting and the thing is weddings to learn experience like to get experience before you do your first wedding if you haven't done one before it's so vital because it's someone's special day and it can be very nerve-wracking. I think you big it up in your head a lot, you know. And rightly so. There's there a lot of pressure there? on you. There's a lot yeah. of pressure on you. You know, if you muck up or mess up or do something that ruins the day, mm. that's their most important day ruined. For, you know, you've, and, and it's always the silly mistakes. I've, I've, everyone makes mistakes, of course, you know. Um, but, you know, hopefully with the book, that mm. will mean you won't be making mistakes because it will, you will learn from yeah. the mistakes that have been made before. Exactly, yeah. So Wayne's just made all the mistakes for you guys, basically. All right? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, love it. Right. I've got a cheeky smile. I've got a cheeky smile. I can get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so guys, as well, basically, what I was going to say is earlier on with the big parcel, uh, we recently restocked all of the bits and bobs from Penguin. So the lights of Repetition are back in stock. The lights are definitely not marked are back in stock. So if you ordered one or pre-ordered one, uh, it would have gone out for you today. We've also got back in, I don't know if it's on the site yet, Snaps by David Jonathan. We haven't actually had that in before. Um, sort of similar to the gallery by Mark Spellman, which are out of stock. So if you want something along that line, uh, then definitely check out Snaps. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, and also this one. I've actually got a performance of this. I've done it uh, a, while, a while back, but it's just such a good effect. So I'll quickly play the video of this, and then I'll talk about it a little bit after. All right? Cool. Fan dabby dozy. I'm gonna do cube transition. I don't know what this one is. All right. Right. I recently picked up a pack of these. It's not, it's not my favourite one, that one, but I'm sure I, I like it. That, was, like that it? was a bit smooth. Yeah, it was a bit smooth. That was. All right. Fine. I'll do it. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Right, I recently picked up a pack of these, right? Bicycle Seconds, yeah? Now, these are usually a pack of cards where the printing's gone a little bit skew if on some cards. Um, but I found a way to sort it out. Let's have a look. There will be one in there that's skew if. Let me know if you find it. Good so far. Oh, big one there. No, that's all right. One out of 52 is not bad, is that it? Bad, so. um, but yeah, I worked out a way to sort it out. So coming close, right? You can see the ink is completely Skew it. On the back's not bad, but on the front it's wonky wood. So watch this, come in close really. All I have to do is give it a little wiggle like this. And you should see, you can see the ink just slowly moving wow. on the card. Can you see that? Yeah, that is superb. And hopefully, uh, I think that's perfect. So Andy, want to see a card trick, mate? Yep. <laughs> Shall we buy it? <laughs> what a cheeky lad. No, so guys, that is misprint, <laughs> right? Now, I must say, I was very nervous when I first opened the box because it looks a little bit daunting, all right? When you take it out, it's so bloody simple, it's unbelievable. So you get every, everything you need in there. Oh! Look at that! You get everything you need in there. You get absolutely loads of different versions of it. And obviously you get to do it with your own cards. So if you want to use your own playing cards and stuff like that, it's just a great thing for an ambitious or something like that. You know, it's a great face to chuck in. It's so visual. It's so easy to do. Um, and yeah, you can do it with the backs of cards if you want. You can do it with the faces, obviously. And it, it it's simple. You get a lot, a, a lot of gimmicks in there for what you pay for. And you even get the thing that you need to use it, which normally you'd have to source elsewhere. Um, so it's such good value for money. It's so good. Let me have a look because I think they're actually cheaper than when we got them before as well, actually. Um, so that's called Misprint 2.0, I believe. 
um, and they're £25 on the dot. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth checking out that because it is, it is fantastic. And like I said, even if you just have one misprint card in your pack, you don't have to worry about resetting it or anything like that because you literally just twist it basically um but yeah it's, it's just nice to have in there you know it's cool to i mean dad always has an stc in his deck um and misprint is just another great one to have in there you know even if it's for like a kid you go oh look look at this one watch this and it's so visual you know it's just so good to have and it's just a regular card so you can palm it off you know so yeah. definitely worth checking out that one um fan dabby dozy yeah that is lovely i'm just gonna have a look what else we've got to cover because we've got a lot a lot of bits and bobs oh i'm gonna drop the trailer to this one now quickly um <clears throat> because i looked at it and again i was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the gimmick in this um even in real life like close up it looks phenomenal so guys this is alibi right and it's a mystery box without having a box but it's wicked, all right? So the gimmick you can have in your wallet, you don't have to have it on the back of your phone, but you do get supplied the stuff if you want it on there. Um, and also, you do get taught a very simple thing, so you don't have to worry about card folding. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, so yeah, don't let that put you off. And if you want to practice a Mercury card fold, then definitely check out Perfect Score because that makes it so easy, so easy. Um, so guys, yeah, this is Alibi, and then we're going to have a couple of quiz questions after, all right? Imagine a mystery box without a box. A gimmick that looks nothing like the gimmick. A prop that goes everywhere your phone goes. Now I know it's hard to imagine, yet Alibi is all of these things. Imagine your spectator signs a random card. Then it gets lost into the deck. You pick up your phone and hanging from the credit card holder is a small folded card. Your spectator unfolds the card and it's their signed card. Even though your alibi gimmick sits in full view, it is never seen. Comes with everything you need to wow your audiences, including Mark's ambitious card routine and a super easy card fold. I know you're going to love the absolute miracle that is Alibi. Sweet. It's, it does look good. I tell you what, it's wicked. And I, I am very, very pleased with the quality of the gimmick. I will say it, it does look wicked in real life as well. It does look bloody So can, that, can it go in your wallet, did you say? Yeah, yeah. So the um, the actual gimmick is the card. Um, so you haven't got to worry about having that big um, stick on thing. You don't have to worry about that at all. That can be you do get that in there and it will stick to any phone. Um, but yeah, you can just have the card in your wallet or you can have it. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't have it anywhere else apart from your wallet, really, would you? But yeah, it's so it's so easy. And obviously it, when it's fully closed, it is just the width of a, width of a card. You haven't got to worry about a big chunky thing like that. Um, it's really, really fantastic. Um, Roger Thompson says perfect score is excellent. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wicked. It's definitely worth checking out if you guys haven't got one. It's really, really good. Um, Jeff Short says, um, where can he find the Sudoku uh, Facebook forum? So, yeah, we've got a page for Sudoku on Facebook. And if you type in Alakazam hyphen Sudoku, it will come up there. You'll just have to type in your registration code uh, when you go in. It will ask for it. And then Dad will accept you because he's the admin. And then you can go in there and enjoy all of the great routines that people are putting up there. I just looked now. Someone's combined it with mental dice and it's a wicked routine. It's so cool. So there's honestly, the Facebook groups not only bring people together, but also really, really bring out the creativity in people. You know, some of the ideas are absolutely phenomenal. Not just on Sudoku, though, on all of them, you know. What, what happens in Vegas, um, Executive Suite, literally any product we try and have a Facebook page for. Obviously, we can't have one for every single one, but ones that there's a lot of fuss about um, and a lot of people are taking it down different routes, we do try and have a Facebook page so people um, share their ideas. And Ian there says, um, there's the page. And just quickly, a lot of people as well record uh, performances and put them up so you can get tips as well, you know. And it's... It's a friendly environment, so don't feel nervous about recording your performance. You know, no one's going to judge you in there. It's just a, a nice place to share about an effect that you all have, um, which is wicked. Lovely. Um, 
the oh Wayne you've got a bit of sad news about an event that's coming up what are you talking about tomorrow yeah <laughs> uh yeah so i, I was uh, talking to jonathan uh, last night and um tomorrow we're supposed to be having the month of jam but due to circumstances out of his control um that he's gonna have to postpone the monthly jam now whether we do it next week or the week after or whether we just wait until next month that will be decided and we will let you know as soon as possible um but unfortunately there's nothing there's a few technical problems that um or two technical issues that he was having to deal with and um yes a few videos that weren't ready etc so he's um he's decided to just postpone it uh, you know until we can get it sorted and then and then it will be going so dan harlan it will still be on the next jam um and we will let you know uh, probably through uh, an email or newsletter um as soon as that date has been decided mm -hmm. yeah fantastic um i'll tell you yeah, what it's it's one of those i think where everything kind of everything that could have gone wrong kind of has all at once and he said he didn't want to he didn't want to make it look half prepared so yeah yeah no of course um let me try and change something I don't know if I can. while you're doing that can i very quickly mention this book here because this is amazing yeah go on um so this is uh, on the website and it's called away with words uh, and it's by Luke Jonas, and it is one of the best mentalism books uh, I've ever read. And I've read more than two, so <laughs> no, I've read I've read a few. Um, it's really really good. Um, the only criticism so far I've seen for this whole book, the only criticism that on 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 the Green Place on uh, the Discord uh, and in videos, I've only seen one person criticise it, and the only criticism is that until you get into the book it doesn't actually say luke's name on the book um so his name isn't on the front cover it's not on the back <laughs> it's not on the first page it's not on the contents page uh it's not uh on the forward um and it's right at the very end of the um the introduction um so i've read it now three or four times um the the, the two that stand out for me still are the first two the hangman's reveal oh, so he does so a, like yeah. a hangman right in it and the the word that never was uh no, no a mirror image sorry mirror image which mm. is where he has a word change and, and then the revelation is actually quite startling um yeah really really good book really well priced it's on the website um and there's stuff in here even if you're not a serious serious mentalism person there's still tricks in here you can do and again you know hangman's reveal is one of those tricks you can do down the pub with your business card or with a big or a blank bit of paper or whatever back of a receipt you could do it on there um it's one of those that once you've learned it you will be performing it mm. so highly highly recommended um what away with words by luke jonas on the website now get it miss it miss out that's what i'm gonna say oh miss it miss out oh. right wayne do you want to see a trick boy yeah cool. yeah always I don't know if I want to show you one, actually, but uh, we'll go for it. Uh, right, so wait, this is... Right, guys, you guys have probably seen this trick before, but I love it, right? Um, and I do it... If someone asks me to see a trick, I'll do this one a lot because I think it gets a fantastic reaction. Um, so, Wayne, this is all about influence, right? Now, I'm going to go as slow as I can and as fair as I can, but you... It might okay. be a bit difficult for you, so what I'll do is I'll say... You just say stop, and then I'll just take one from that chunk, all right? Because we are going to be taking okay, chunks yep. anyway, all right? But if you was here, okay. obviously, you'd be touching a card. So, first of all, um, just say stop, and I'll stop. So, stop there. Here, yeah. Well, are you happy there? Yep. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take out a chunk from that one. Uh, we'll go again. Say stop. Stop. There, sure. Yep. Are you sure? You want an extra one, or...? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Perfect. Right, we'll take out a chunk from that one. Uh, next one, just say stop. Go a bit further this time. Stop. Here. Yep. Fantastic. Um, and then we just got one more. Um, again, if you just say stop, stop. for us. What well, there? Yep. Okie dokie. Um, and we'll take them out like that. Um, so, obviously, four random choices. If you was here, obviously, you would have put your card uh, finger on the specific card. Let's see how you done, right? Were you influenced? Oh, there's an oh ace. very nice, wow. very nice. There's one ace. Let's have a look here. Oh, 
Mm, Ooh, right. look at that. Let's have a look at this one. Mm, there's another one. And then finally, boom, bada, bing. There's the other one. No messing up. That's really good. So, yeah, that is a John Kerry effect, and it's actually phenomenal. Like, the reactions you get are so, so good, especially because when they really touch the card, like, people get so, like, specific about what ones they want. No, I want that one, I want that one. Do you want one extra one? And you're so fair, you know, wherever they say, you literally just reach in, strip them out, you know? And it's, it's wicked. That's I don't nice. know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's so, honestly, it's actually so good. Like, the freedom people have as well. And it just, it looks so fair, you know, look. Doesn't it? That's, you just, it's right. like, and for something that's so easy, the reactions you get for an ace assembly or whatever it is, is... Oh. So what's that called? I haven't got a clue. So I'll have to, um, I'll have to ask, I think it's called like Easy Ace something. I think it was on the bottom there. I oh, know, that's a joker. There you go. Yeah, but it is so honestly, guys, it's so so simple to do. It's very fooling actually as well when you're, especially when you're like there uh, face to face because it's so free. Like they could pick any card whatsoever. You just take out a nice chunk, and it's a nice way to get into if you do do any fancy or ace cutting things. Because I was reading Less Is More, a book by Bernal, and it does rightly say, don't flourish and produce the aces if you're then going to lose them and find them again because it shows that you can do it easily. So don't. Show that you can easily do it and you go, oh, this is really hard. I reckon it's about there, which makes sense, you know, whereas this one is a great way to get into it because you don't just pick them out, which you can do if you want. You have a great, i tell you what, let me try something. This, 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 aces, since we've got them out, let's try something, you know. It's a great way just to lead into anything, really. Is that on one of John's DVDs? I think it's on his Academy. Let me have a look. John. I mean... If you guys are interested in that, if you just drop me a message on Facebook or <clears throat> or give me a buzz at the shop, I can try and find out for you. But yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what one it's on because he's done so many. But it's a fantastic effect. So, so good. Um, right, so we need to quickly do some more of the quiz. I reckon we're going to do six questions on the quiz now because we ain't got long. Oh, actually, no, it's 53. I reckon we go straight through to the end. Go for it. Go on. Right, so at the minute, winning is Shiv. Um, so we're going to continue right now right let's go <clears throat> which world championships did peter once enter world bmx championships world beatbox championships world skateboarding championships or world mixing championships interesting i don't think i've ever actually seen dad ride a bmx that'd be funny but i reckon he did back in the day though you know i reckon he did Question number five. What is Peter Nardi's middle name? Pietro, Sebastiano, Roberto, Domenico. Mm. Okay, I'm not too sure on this one because I think he's got two middle names and they're both up there. Um, so it's just a lucky guess. Mum's done the quiz as per. Uh, what has she done? I'm sure he's got two middle names. Um, Domenico is my middle name, you know, guys. Uh, where was Alakazam Magic's first appearance as a dealer? <gasps> Blackpool Winter Gardens, Alec Powell's Magic Car Boot Sale, Paul Daniels Orchard, IBM Eastbourne. I actually said this question, and I think it's the best one yet, don't you think? How fascinating is that? Look, where do you reckon it was? Mental. And I will just say, for anyone who doesn't know, obviously Winter Gardens in Blackpool, is that's where the normal Magic um, convention is held there. Um, Alakazam Magic started in which area in South London? Lewisham, Nunhead, Ladywell or Peckham? Ooh. Do you know this one, Wayne? Oh, hang on. I can't hear you. Hang on. Let me, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Let me bring you up here. Hang on one second, though. Uh... Oh, what's it gone dodge for? Oh. Yeah, right, they can hear you now, Wayne. Go on. Right. Isn't Peckham where only Fools and Horses is? Uh, is it? I think so. It might be. That's where Mum's from, you know. Um, what was the name of the company owned by Peter Nardi and Mark Spellman? Mind Magic, Mind Spies, Inner Thoughts, Inner Minds. Ooh. 
<clears throat> also, guys, I must have absolutely rabbited on you because I'm losing my voice, no lie. And the England game's on later. I just ain't stopped talking, have I? Yeah, it's been good, though. It's been good. It's not bad. I just rabbit on. I had my first ever Guinness the other day. It was bloody delicious. Um, right, question number nine. Um, Peter's Saturday job was demonstrating magic tricks on a magic stand owned by who? Paul Daniels, Jack Delvin, Wayne Dobson or Marvin's Magic? I don't Very know that one. Interesting. I actually didn't know this person had a stall. That's what threw me. Fantastic. Question number nine. So the last and final question. Question number ten. What level of membership does Peter Nardi hold within the Magic Circle? Is it MMC, AIMC, MIMC with Silver Star, or MIMC with Gold Star? Mm. Had to get that one in there. Yeah. Where? What one do you reckon he is? I don't want to say because I want to influence. I'm I'm AIMC though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm AIMC with Silverstar. I'm LAD, just a lad. Just a lad, eight yeah. dog. <laughs> no, to be fair, I'm actually a member now, but I just ain't got a certificate. Oh no, I've got a certificate. What haven't I got? The card. I haven't got a card yet. Bloody hell! I have a word count. Oh, we've got to get a card. I'm not really a member then, am I? <laughs> Unless I got a card. Right. So, um, I reckon we'll quickly go through who won but before we do uh, guys remember it's mum and dad's 25th wedding anniversary today their silver one so was he MIMC with silver star who knows um, well you will know later on when I tell you the answers um, code <laughs> is happy25 um, and it's money off it's 25% off runaway joker i change common sense stc and unexpected dvd obviously they're all free worldwide shipping and if you are outside the uk you get 20% off extra because of vat so i'm probably going to get a slap but who knows who knows um so yeah guys head over there get all that stuff done which is lovely um we did get all the penguin bits and bobs back in guys so remember if you are after them then make sure you pick one up and add any of those to your basket, get extra 25% off because they do go quick, you know. Um, a lot of the times when we get stuff in, they do just fly out pretty much before we even start to promote them. So definitely uh, check them out whilst you can. Um, yeah, so... While you're, finishing, while you're finishing that up, Harry, with the quiz, can I show a very quick trick? Oh, yeah, go on. So this, uh, I got this uh, a couple of weeks ago. This is a face mask. And check this out. Uh, you can take the face mask, and I, I did this in a kids show last week. Actually, and I said to them, "This is a disposable face mask. So once you've finished using it, you've got to get rid of it. And of course, the easy way of getting rid of it is just to make sure it's completely oh, gone." Nice, boom! That'd it's be. really well made. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you've got to look after it, but if you look after it, it will last a long time. And um, I didn't have anybody pick up and say it doesn't look like a real mask. It really does um and um yeah if it's perfectly in a tt and and it's a great little different variation on the, the normal banish of a handkerchief yeah just go nice. straight in your hand you just got to make sure you get that string in you know done yeah and then and then it's gone nice it's yeah really it's nice. wicked it's really good actually because um i mean obviously masks you might not have to wear a mask well hopefully you won't have to wear masks in the future um and so it's really cool to be able to go over there and you can just take it off completely vanish it you know what i mean you don't need that anymore yeah. You know what I mean? And that, to be fair, that that as an opener can last forever, you know, because everyone's yes. going to remember the pandemic. You come over with that mask and go, oh, bloody hell, you remember that? Our bloody well, hell, actually, don't uh, need that anymore. Yeah, I mean, you could. I, I did it in my kids' show, and, you know, kids don't have to wear masks. These were young kids. But I said, oh, I'm glad I haven't got to wear this today. And then I was like, boom, uh, where shall I put it? Uh, oh, I'll just leave it there, and I'll come back to it later. Nice, and I, yeah. oh, you know, it was yeah. like, a, where's the mask gone? And you can do a hanky vanish and get a great reaction, yeah. but you do it with something that they actually recognise and know, it's got that extra kick to it. Exactly. And I think, um, even though obviously the pandemic's been difficult um, for everyone, I think it has brought sort of like people together. So I think it's like, bringing that back up, it just makes you feel like, yeah, we're, we were in this together. You know what I mean? When you do bring up that, it's like, Oh, do you know what I mean? We were there. You know what I mean? We'd done it. Yeah. And it's like, we don't need that anymore. You know, now we're proper, we're back now, for real. So I think that's, that's such a gone. good, isn't it? Yeah. Cheeky, that. So, yeah, yeah uh, what are they called? Have we got, they are on the site, aren't it, they? The right? Yeah, it's, uh, the Vanishing Mask, I think it's called. It's by, um, 
uh, I want to say Michael Chatelain, but it's not, is it? It's the other guy. Um, have you got it there? Uh, I'll have a look. What's it called? Vanishing Mark. Yeah. I haven't, got the, I haven't got the bag here for it. How out of order is Ian, what he just said there? <laughs> that Ian, I tell you, he, he does, he noises it up a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, let me... Uh, I Right, I... Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I can't find it. But, um, guys, yeah, definitely uh, check that out, because I think that'd be a great opener, to be honest. A really cool opener. Um, and as well, it's important because it's up at face level, it's up at eye level. So if you do have any, like, cameras coming in, it's a great picture for photography, you know, getting that in there. Um, as well, we'll quickly announce the winner. Um... Can you find it, Wayne? Uh, yeah, it's The Mask by Matthew Beesh and oh, Buddy Stein. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Right. Um, so, guys, here we go. So the winner is, and the winner of the quiz mug is... <gasps> Goo! Look at that! It's Goo. So, we've got Goo, Kevin B, Andy C... Shiv D, what are we rappers today? Uh, Roy Roger, uh, Raymond Walker, so many people. Um, so yeah, guys, well done, Goo. So all you have to do is email into sales at alakazam.co.uk. Um, say that you won the quiz. Say you want a you want a quiz winners mug because obviously you were the winner. And it was tight. Look, one question in it. One question. I think I, I think it's time to come forward and say I, I'm actually Goo. No, you're not. <laughs> Yeah, I am. Are you actually? Yeah, give it, give it to Kevin. Give it to Kevin. What He's next hell? in line, isn't he? You're such a little <laughs> cheater. Are you? You swear down? Yeah, I swear down. I'm good. Goo was my nickname when I was in Spain because it's short for good, Goodman. Bloody hell! Well, Kevin B, you're the winner then, Kevin. So I didn't expect to. I didn't expect to win, to be honest with you. I, I just. All... <laughs> Kevin, all you have to do, right, is send an email to sales at the exam, say that you won the quiz winner's mug, and we'll get one sent out to you, all right? Not goo, to you, yeah? Um, so, I think, to be fair, what's time? That wraps us I'm up. Quite chuffed I, I'm quite chuffed I won, though, because I didn't know some of those. Yeah, but I don't know I don't know what your dad's signature meal is, do I? And, no, you know. don't bother. Don't <laughs> bother. We are, honestly, on a Sunday, we'd be like, oh, can we have a roast dinner? Yeah, I mean, we never asked Dad for a roast dinner, anyway, but like, we'll say to him, oh, we've got for dinner tonight, it'll be like a curry. You'll get home and it's like a bolognese. No matter what he does, it's a bolognese. <laughs> it ends up being a bolognese. I swear to God, it just ends up being a bolognese. I don't know how, um, but yeah, it ends up being a bolognese. So that's his signature meal. Um, but guys, that is everything. Um, I'm going to end on an upcoming academy, which I'm really excited for. Um, it's an academy that fits in a coin purse in your pocket, and you'll have about 15, 20 minutes of routines um and wicked coin stuff so guys wayne have you got anything else to say or are you all gucci goo i think i'm good out uh thanks everyone. oh uh, uh don't forget we've got andy on the discord on thursday yes. um so because the discord's been playing up a little bit and been a bit glitchy from now on we're going to do it'll all be announced on the discord but we're going to be doing the uh the nights the things like the speeches and the people talking it will be hosted on a Zoom. So we will post up the Zoom code on the Discord. Yeah. Um, it won't be a theatre one. We'll just put up a thing saying, if you want to join, it's the first 90 people to jump in or 95 people to jump into this Zoom and it'll run. So this Thursday coming, which is the 1st of July, we've got and our very own Andy Smith going to be talking uh, cards and more Legend. on the Zoom. Um, and what else have we got happening? Uh, well, I'll, I'll put up some notifications about other things that are happening on there as well. Um, and yeah, and please also, sorry, private plug, please check out my newest release on Alakazam, which is uh, the Celebratory Triumph, um, which is um, on the front page of the Alakazam website, right as we speak, mm -hmm. and it's on special offer. How it's much? so cheap. It's uh, 4 99 less than a fiver for the download. Oh. And it's one of those tricks that you can do it everywhere. It's great. And it, you can make announcements. You can make, check the check the trailer out. You'll love it. It's it's really good. It's yeah, a really good. So trick. guys, check that out. Uh, and as well, if you have got it, leave a review because it's always nice to see. Um, yeah, please, as many as you like. Up. Yeah, it's wicked. Um, so guys, yeah, that is everything. So Wayne, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me again. You're welcome. Right, two that he pops, Wayne. Mm.
Um, so guys, um, I will see you. What have we got next? I can't think. So jam, keep an eye out for the jam info. Um, I will be back on the live. Obviously, we'll have a live again. Um, check out Andy's Ready Steady Read. He uploaded an episode of that the other day, so that's really worth checking out. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end you. Uh, end. <laughs> I'm gonna end the live with a trailer. All right. Um, for an academy by Rick Holcomb, and it's at a coin academy, and it's gonna be fan dabby dozy. It, like I said, it's called Everyday Carry or something along the lines of that. And basically, it's fantastic routines that will fit in a coin purse in your pocket all right so it's phenomenal and you'll see from the trailer just how classy he is how good of a tutor he's gonna be and how slick he is so guys uh that is all from me i hope you had a great live um sorry if it wasn't as good as normal but hey we got one here didn't we we got one in um so guys enjoy the rest of your day come on england let's get a dub tonight against germany i reckon i reckon it's free one Saka Kane Sterling, I think, with the goals. Um, yeah, delicious. So, anyway, enjoy that, guys. Have a great evening. And, yeah, good luck, England, for the footy. See you later, guys. Hey, guys. Rick Holcomb here. I'm excited to be able to invite you to my Alakazam Academy lecture. And I want to thank Peter and Andy for reaching out to me for this opportunity. Uh, I consider it a huge privilege. So I've crafted this lecture specifically for Alakazam. Now, if you've ever wanted to get into coin magic, or even if you do some coin magic, but want to take it to the next level, then this lecture is for you. I'll be teaching about a dozen routines and a bunch of moves and different vanishes, uh, everything from beginner to mainly intermediate, but even some advanced stuff. So there's something here for everyone. Now, the main concept behind this is something you can carry on you every day. And with this little set of coins, you'd be able to perform about 15 minutes of magic if you wanted. I'm going to show you how I think about magic and how I string routines together to make them make sense as one long piece. But everything's modular, so you could perform just one piece of this routine if you wanted. Uh, this is going to be a, a mini crash course in coin magic all in itself. So keep your eye on Alakazam and stay tuned for further updates.